A new arcade core for Joust 2 Survival of the Fittest has been released. Originally developed by Dart FPGA on GitHub and ported to Mr. by Birdie Bro and Jason A. You can now obtain the core from the official updater. The current status of the core is both revisions of Joust 2 Survival of the Fittest load and play fine. Regular sound effects play fine. Two player controls work. Things that are left to do are speech synthesis or music, a pause feature, high score saving, Mr. Dip system needs to be implemented, and adjust video output for HDMI. Developed by Williams Electronics and released in 1986, Joust 2 plays pretty similar to its predecessor, but does add new features such as mutant buzzards created by eggs falling into lava, the ability to transform from an ostrich to a flying horse, and differently themed levels. And we have another new arcade core. This one is for Mystic Marathon, and like Joust 2, it was originally developed by Dart FPGA on GitHub and ported to Mr. by Birdie Bro and Jason A. The current status of the core is, the core seems to run and play fine with somewhat incorrect colors. Video has this occasional blip where you see a line scrolling. It's possible that sync is not properly aligned internally. Things that are left to do are, pause needs to be implemented, high score saving, Mr. Dip system needs to be implemented, and adjust video output for HDMI. Mystic Marathon is a horizontally scrolling game by Williams Electronics, released in 1984. The game has you racing an elf-like creature called a Benkin against other Benkins. The goal is to finish the race in the top three so you can progress to the other race. Core developer Hotego has released a new beta core for his Patreon subscribers. This one is for the arcade game Konami's Ping Pong. Not much to say other than it's an arcade ping pong game. As with all of Hotego's cores, he will release them to the public once the beta phase has been completed. If you are testing out the work in progress PlayStation Core and you're finding a game really difficult, well, you can download compatible cheats from gamehacking.org. To use these cheats, unzip the downloads to your Mr. SD card to the media, fat, cheat, slash PSX directory. It looks like once the core is public, these cheats will automatically be downloaded when you update your mister. If you do not want to wait for the PlayStation core to become public, check out my video that shows you how to install the unstable nightly build. Then you can download and install these cheats. Mike Simone 3 on Twitter has created some custom builds of cores with native composite and as video support through the analog IO boards VGA port or the HDMI port via direct video. Currently, direct video is not advised and he is looking for a cleaner option. What you'll need to use this is a VGA to component cable, an RCA to S video cable, the custom build of the core must be installed on your mister and S video must be enabled in its menu. If you're going to use composite, you'll also need an S video to composite adapter. On the component cables, the red cable is the chroma signal and the green cable is the Luma signal. On the RCA to S video cable posted by Mike Simone 3, red is chroma and yellow is Luma. So you plug the green component cable to the yellow S video adapter cable and match the red cables together. Sometimes these cables you get over eBay might mix the two up, so try alternating the cables if they don't work at first. The custom core builds must be downloaded and installed manually. Cores receiving custom builds for this feature are Atari 5200, Atari 7800, Genesis, Intellivision, Mega CD, NES, Neo Geo, PlayStation, Sega Master System, Super NES, and TurboGrafx-16. I'm not sure how old this core is, but I just saw a post on the Mr. FPGA forums for a work in progress Spark Station core. What is the Spark Station, some of you might ask? Well, it was a series of workstations and servers developed by Sun Microsystems. It had its own hardware architecture that ran on Sun's custom Spark CPUs. This was at a time when the hardware in professional workstation was wildly different from consumer computers. You had these exotic machines running on processors like Spark CPUs, Tech Alpha CPUs, MIPS CPUs, and others. 
Nowadays, a high-end gaming PC isn't too different from a professional workstation. This core is really not something that you'll spend a lot of time on, unless you want to do some work. But for me, it's just a curiosity to experience a system I would read about but can never own. Last week, I reported on the new help system in Mister. To further expand on this help system, a Google Slides PDF project is being created to provide tips and helpful commands for cores. For example, the Commodore 64 document has a diagram that shows you which Commodore 64 key maps to the key on your keyboard, how to list the contents of a floppy disk image, how to load a program, and more. Each core will have a document tailored to it and the system it's implementing. If you are very well versed on a specific system or core, you can help contribute to this project by requesting access in the Mr. FPGA forums. On last week's Retro RGB Weekly Roundup video, Bob talked about a save file converter that has support for Mr. FPGA save files. Developed by Ewan Foster on GitHub, this converter is a website where you can take the save files from different sources and convert them for use on other emulators or devices. Say for instance you are playing Final Fantasy VI on your Mr but want to continue playing on your computer using software emulation. Then all you have to do is upload the save file from your Mr, choose the Mr option and convert it to a raw emulator file. That raw file can be used on a software emulator on your computer to continue your journey. If you want to resume your progress on your Mr, then you can convert the raw file to the Mr format or other devices you may have. Check out the website to see what's supported and also make sure you visit the GitHub to read about any incompatibilities. The My Life in Gaming YouTube channel has released a very detailed and informative video primer on the Mr. FPGA. They go over things like setting up your Mr, input options, demonstrations of different cores, and much more. It's a really well made video with a high production value they're known for. There's been a lot of new cores lately. There is now another new core for the Entex Adventure Vision developed by Kitrinx on GitHub. The Adventure Vision was a cartridge based video game console housed in a portable arcade like cabinet. Only four official games were developed for the system, all of them being arcade ports. The games are Defender, Super Cobra, Turtles. and Space Force. And another core has been released. It seems to be an original game and it's called Slug Cross. In the game, you are a green square slug and you need to make it safely past the red lines to the bottom right corner. Developed originally by B. Hayami, it was ported mostly by Kitrinx and a little by Birdie Bro. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro related content and if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.